All right, so in case you guys are just tuning in, uh, we are playing Supernova. And I've been practicing with, uh, I think it's pronounced Xenos. Xenos? Which is a ranged, it's like a ranged uh, energy attack damage guy. I'll show you all about him when we get in there. So this is my third day playing this, of course, sponsored by Supernova. Big shout outs to them. Free to play MOBA. It is an RTS meets MOBA. So when I say that is when we get into the game, instead of just having the same minions that are coming back and forth, you have to choose minions to counter your opponent's minions. So if they're building like a lot of, you know, siege tank like minions, you're going to want to build like Marauder type or uh, Immortal type units to if I'm doing it in a StarCraft layman's terms. So it's it's base it's it is a MOBA. There's the jungle, top, bottom, mid lane. Except in this, you have to use an RTS style. You have to build specific units to counter theirs and so on and so forth. So it's a really cool concept. And I played this uh back in August of 2015, August, September. Um they had sponsored me to do some some gameplay footage back then. And now a lot more has been added to the game. It's a lot more polished. It's still in beta, though. Solid StarCraft analogy. Thanks, bro. Uh, there is a link to download the game in the description below. If you guys want to uh, check it out. So we're going to start off with weapons. And it, it suggests that you do armor. But I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going to go armor. So these are your attributes as you kill people, as you get minion kills, <clears throat> you can get more attributes. And then you get proficiencies, which are these things down here. And depending on what you're up against, what your team needs, you can uh, do different types of proficiencies. We're going to start off with our Q. And I did anybody look in the lobby? Sorry, I didn't see what lane I was playing. I, I must be mid lane since... Two are going bot, two are going top. Hey, look at that. People are uh, sniping me on the game, so they're all coming in from the fellowship. Nice. Good luck. Have fun. We're mid? All right, let's do it. So, um, over the last couple days when we played this game, some of the things that I really like about this is the fact that it is... An RTS style game and I'm obviously biased because I love RTS style games um, it's it's very strategic like it's extremely strategic so as you're killing uh, minions and heroes or they call them commanders in this you're gonna get more in-game currency so that right now I have 298 so I can go ahead and build these type of units you can also pull up to see how your lane is faring against your opponent's lane. And it'll suggest certain units that you can build to help your lane push. So it's very strategic and it's so much so that it, it becomes almost a negative for the game as well. Because it, it took me about four or five hours to really get the hang of, of this game. There's a lot to learn. So it's a... Uh, you know, it's a it's a fairly casual, friendly game, but not at first. You know, the first time you play it, you're gonna you're gonna go, wow, there is a lot to do in this. There's a lot to learn, but once you get it going, it's it's very easy. The concept is very simple. Are you sure it is this way? Fire this guy's gonna get shrecked. Let's go. I almost killed him. I grew closer to the primate. All right, we're going to go ahead and grab our W. Can you guys hear it okay? I'm going to turn it up just a tad bit. So with this guy, my Q does... Um, it shoots off like a ball of energy. My W, I do believe, is a slow, right? Pulse shot towards an area three times after dealing. It does damage. 
Oh, it's it's also a knockback. That's what it is. And my E does uh, does healing. So we can take a look to see. So right now we are our our lane is pushing well. It also suggests what kind of units you should buy next. But we're 71% against 29, so that's good. And it also says we're laning against this dude, and that is not this guy. So whoever that dude is, he's in the wrong lane right now. He looks like he's top lane. Yeah. So this guy here should be middle. So whenever he builds units, they're gonna they're gonna come in the mid lane against me even though he's up at the top. So that's why it's important when you're in the lobby to actually go to the lane that you're assigned to because those are where your minions are going to uh, are going to go. Uh, but you can switch lanes in the lobby like you can request to switch lanes with your teammates. And I got a heal going here. tower is under attack. I think I might get him. Oh, he's just out of range. So right now we're pretty weak. Begin attack sequence. Channeling Go ahead and heal. Of the oh, so close. So right now we have two available upgrades. Can also go back at any time. Another thing that I didn't like at the start of this game, but I, I, oh, but I've uh, come to really appreciate it is when you're backing, you can still run around in this circle and you'll be picked up and you can fight. And then you can be picked up. So you can uh, retreat from battle. At first I was like, oh, that's really lame. Like you can still be picked up while you're being attacked. Like normally when you're backing in any other MOBA, once you're hit, it stops the back. That's not the case here. So you can go in and do damage and just back at the beginning of the battle. And then just before you die, you can be picked up. And then you can also be dropped off too, but you have to be in your main area here, your spawn area, and then you can be dropped off. But there's like a 350 second uh, cooldown for it. So you have to really think, you know, when I should use these. So I went and built some scorpions. They're pretty solid units to have in lane. And we're still doing well, still at 71%. Right now, the enemy team is in the lead, though. They've got two kills. And they also have 20 attribute points for the team opposed to our 16. So, in terms of leveling, we're behind a little bit. Pretty sure I played this exact same game in the StarCraft II Customs. You might have. Well, it's obviously not the sa exact same game, but it might be sort of the same concept. We're going to knock him back and grab the heal. We're going to hit him with a Q. We're going to take the kill. Let's go. Unexpected. Target destroyed. So a couple of the things that um, I've been suggesting, I don't know if Supernova has been watching my uh, been watching my streams and whatnot, but uh, a couple of things that I think that they could uh, use to improve on uh, right off the bat is when you're being hit, it doesn't feel like the stakes are high, you know, in some games, even in some MOBAs, when you're being attacked, you're like, ow, that hurts. It just feels like it hurts. And this, it doesn't feel like anything. It just, you have to almost just look at your health bar to range on how bad you're getting your ass whooped. So it would be nice if they added, um, okay, we've got a proficiency point that we can use. We're going to go for the eliminated. offense. Cork fire, or cork flare, sorry. Executing so I think it would be nice if they added, like, even if it was like a, like a, something to shake the screen a little bit or flash red or something to make it feel like you're taking damage. I don't know how they would do it, but it would add more intensity in the battles too. The enemy is attacking our bottom guard tower. Like there's no weight to being hit. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and it's suggesting that we build more scorpions. So we're gonna do that. Um, another thing is, is some of the character designs and stuff are like a blatant copy off some RTSs. Like, this looks like it came out of Command & Conquer. This guy looks like a Gundam Wing. Uh, there's a dude that look. this guy here looks like he's from a Sentinel from the Matrix. This looks like a Hydralisk. Uh, you know, this looks like from iRobot. 
So, I mean, there's some things in here that look very s similar to other things. Firing. Uh, so it'd be cool to get some some more unique uh, looking characters. I just I'm just like I'm just like that because when I'm it's playing a game I don't really want to think of other games or movies while I'm playing a game Because some people may go man that really destroy. reminds me of Command and Conquer now. I really want to play Command and Conquer uh, Which is what you don't want when you're when you're playing somebody else's game um, Executing Enemy And also I feel as Enemy though Commander whenever you're doing a sci-fi game that's like the time when you should really let your creativity An go and you should you should you know push the envelope and try out crazy new battle. things because you Commander can disconnected. Yeah, he looks like Velikos. He he works Our like Velikos. like his way. ultimate My See how see how I fought him and he got picked up? I think that's really cool. Pulse shot. Uh, we just lost the guy, I think, when AFK, which is not good. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna go back. Yeah, he really plays like uh, like Valkos as well. His ultimate does the beam. <laughs> I really want to try him, I just don't have him unlocked. Excuse me. Alright, so we have 500 here. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade resource income. So if I click on this, it increases my resource income per wave by 15. So we're gonna get that going. Our wave is still doing really well, 68% to 32. We're actually winning our lane. That thing looks like an observer. I really like this uh, commander though. I've been kind of hooked on him ever since I got him. So I can't use my abilities on this. I just have to auto attack. I'm gonna back off. I'll heal up here. So my lane is pretty shoved, so I'm gonna try and do some ganking. This lane's really shoved. Man. Help is on the way. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't uh infantry. I didn't actually didn't didn't see any of this stuff before. So there's more upgrades. <laughs> this game is so in depth. It's crazy. Stand Back aside. him off. Okay, so when you click on this, and you can start upgrading your infantry damage, your vehicle damage. So it's like in StarCraft, getting plus one weapons on your ground, or plus one weapons for your air units. Because you can get air units too. That's got a sting. So my lane's pushing, so I'm just going into another lane right now and, and helping out. We have a disconnect, so it's going to be a... Uh... Ooh. Ah, that's the Velkos. Woo! Oh, no, what killed me, dude? I think, I think it was like a regular unit. Uh, I almost got out of that. So we're just gonna put a bunch into weapons and arm or in health. We're gonna add another proficiency point on there. Our forces have destroyed the enemy's top guard tower. It'd be cool if you could micro your summon units too. Well, that would be crazy. If you could start <laughs> using your uh, your minion waves, that'd be nuts. That's probably not like a, a terrible idea if they could implement something where not all of your units are usable, but maybe there's like a like a hero unit or something that you could get. Like if you got a buff, you could use a specific unit. So like say if you killed their version of the Baron, you could use him to fight in battle. Alright, he's bouncing. My lane is wrecking life. Moving there. No. Right, we're gonna go ahead and get some more resources upgrades. You are finished. We're gonna get some more upgrades for weapons or for infantry and our tanks. There it is. Pulse shot. Our Got him. Enemy vanquished. No Alright, so this is a good opportunity for us to shove lane here. Begin attack sequence. I feel like I'm pretty fed right now. What if you could choose the units and they'd go as you expect 
and then the lane waves would upgrade normally and you get your own little army as you desire Run, kill, I don't know how that would work because I don't know Any if you could leave lane with the destroy. army and stuff it would seem kind of weird this is no I mean it already takes quite a bit of APM to control your uh, your commander as well wow we are wrecking right now pushing pretty hard and we're man down the will of the Primac. Ahead and just keep putting uh, put some work onto this. I'm gonna put down a healing. Got him. Woo -hoo -hoo! Did damage. See, like it would have been nice there. Like even when I'm dealing damage, it doesn't feel like I'm doing a lot. It's kind of hard to explain. Like it would be nice if it felt. Uh, I ulted and he ulted. That Velkos ult is real. Like, it would be nice, like, if it just felt like you're getting wrecked or felt like you're really wrecking someone. You know what I mean? Kaboom. Pushing hard right while losing top. Rip the dream. Well, top is actually not doing terribly. My lane's still winning. Like, my lane's shoving hard. Look at this. We're at their, uh, their tower at their base. I am resurrected. Route accepted. Alright, so we're going to keep going here. Uh, Airbase. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's upgrade some more of that there. Med kit. No, we'll need that. We must all move as one. Alright, let's keep going forward. Yeah, last hitting um, gives you a little bit more resources. More bang for the buck. Upgrade running disruptor. We must all move. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ouch, ouch. There's three people mid right now. I can't fight that. I'm gonna back out. So I don't know if this is like a red buff. I've actually never did any of the jungling in this at all. So, this is gonna hurt. Enemy top guard tower destroyed. Our middle guard tower is under attack. But I'm gonna try it right now. See what happens. I'm doing it live, boys. System recalibrating. Definitely strong enough to do it now. So, this is gonna. So what is this? an upgrade module. All right, I unlocked an upgrade module. So I got a proficiency thing. Uh, this is the big guy. For the greater good. That's a big area, so I don't want to do that. My cells are still An ally is terminated. Oh, boys. I don't think I can mess with these guys. He just ulted, though. I got two more dudes coming around. Might be able to flank him here. I am needed. There it is. I'm gonna blink forward. We got him. Nice, nice. So at the beginning of the game, I actually picked um, sort of like summoners in league. Uh, I have a, a medic drone, a medical drone, and I also have a displacement, which is basically a blink or a flash. And I can, and that's what I did there. So I use that. That's on my my three the will as an active. So I just blinked forward and got him. All right. So we're gonna put in uh, some more on. We're gonna get some more health for sure. And I'm I like to go pure offensive for my proficiencies. Move Attack speed there. and weapon no. damage is where it's at. So like depending on what move I use. It's what I can upgrade. So on my Q, this one upgrades, like this one scales with weapon damage. This one scales with energy damage. So the more points I put into uh, energy, the stronger my pulse shot will get. And also the stronger my health link will get. But my ultimate and my Q Executing scale with protocol. your weapon damage. So I like to go heavy weapon damage. Commander.
Uh, you get three. You get three summoner spells. I don't know what they call them in the in in this. They're, that's pretty much what they are. Like I think this one's one of them that I have is like just like a sensor drone. Oh, this guy does not want. No! <gasps> Program. Turn around and ult me right in the face, this guy, dude. I thought I had him. I was like, he's baited, and I and I popped my heal too. I got a double kill out of it. All right, we're, we still have an AFK, so I mean, it's four v five, to my knowledge, right? They don't have an AFK. Oh, they do have an AFK, so it is four v four. It's either that or the guy on their team is not good at all. He's just level 6. So I think we have an even game, which is great. Kind of lucked out. I am resurrected. Alright, let's move forward here. Gonna elite training. Once. Your next force wave suffers 25% less damage from units, 60% less damage from commanders, and 40% less damage from towers. So I guess the later the game, you want to upgrade more of this. The elite training. They're, it's expensive though, that cost me 1350 Commander disconnected from battle. Uh oh. An upgrade module. I just heard a commander disconnected from battle. Rip our dreams. Alright, let's just get through all this here. This is no illusion. All right, we got some fellow bosses here. We're playing with the stream right now. I Once again, if good. you guys are interested in downloading the game, I'm going to be playing a few games today. If you guys want to get in a game with me, link is underneath the stream. If you're watching this on YouTube, link is in the description below. I'm sure, I'll be playing this again in the future. You can also let me know in the comments below what you think of the game, what you think of the concept. Remember, this is still in beta. So this isn't the uh, end-all be-all, but it's definitely uh, improved from the last time I played it. And I've improved too, which I guess makes the game even funner for me. Guard tower destroyed. Part of the grand plan. You're bad at RTS? Oh, come on. Don't be so hard on yourself. You can make, you can make up for that with, uh, with your MOBA skills. All right, this guy. Look at that! Look at that! Now who's playing? Now who's playing? Let's go! Let's go! Get shrekt! Oh, this guy's dead too. Look at this! I picked just the right game to uh, to record. Because now I don't look like a scrub. Because if you guys saw me playing this last, uh, what, Friday? Man, I was bad. I'm going to upgrade our uh, training again. Make our guys even stronger. And we're now we're killing their auger. And that's game. Boom shakalaka. I just said that. Boom, baby. Let's go. I got a four-star rating. I actually had a six-star rating there last week. So we got some elements. So I, I do believe these elements are things that you can... You get, like, shards of, and then when you get enough of it, then you can get some upgrades. Uh, that's another thing about this game is there is... It is so in-depth. It is crazy. Six, three, and five. Not bad. Our cyborg, though, 4, 0, oh, and 6, got a 5 star rating. All right, let's see here. Yeah, the auger felt, uh, fell fast because we had like three lanes that was basically right on them. So it shows you all their profile stuff, it tells you your wins, your kills, your assists, how many stars you get. Um, those are all added up after the game. I had a four star last time But there is so much to go through they have a lot of commanders already, which is great you Can also set up your tacticals your proficiencies you Can get everything going you can have it preset so you don't have to uh, Do the same things every game 
even all of your forces and stuff like that. Humans and cyborgs. So yeah, pretty dope. Once again, if you guys want to check this game out, link will be in the description. I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to Supernova for uh, sponsoring me to play this game. They knew I was into RTSs, so they're like, let's uh, let's get you to try it out and let us know what you think. And I don't know how to back here. Oh, there we go. All right, so yeah, let's get into another game.